Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of the Shakedown Sit Down. I'm your host, Mallory G. Welcome back to my channel. Today, um, we are welcoming back, honestly, the only person who has been on my channel this much. <laughs> and I'm so, I'm always excited to talk to this person. He is so wonderful and so kind and so full of life and love. Um, I want to welcome back to the show, Joey Miller. Joey, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you for having you, me again. Of course. And if I have time, I will edit in some applause for you there because I have it like saved in a little file. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. So, Joey, I, um, we've been talking um, on and off, you know, obviously for like the past couple of months. You, in your last interview, we talked, well, your past two interviews, we talked about you being a Monet rep and you went to Q Sciences. Uh, today, I want to ask you and have a conversation with you specifically about Q Sciences. I want to know everything that you can tell me about it. But the first question I want to know is, how did you end up going from Monet to Q Science? Or if I could rephrase it, what was it about Q Science that lured you away from Monet? Um, honestly, as crazy as this sounds, it was the compensation plan differences between Monet and Q Sciences. And the fact that with Monet, you had to promote um, market partners to new ranks. And with Q Sciences, you never technically had to promote one of your market partners or one of your ambassadors to a new rank. You only ever needed two ambassadors. So that was what hooked me from the beginning was like, okay, this is going to be a much easier business to build than what I experienced with Monet. <clears throat> So to compare it, so you said Monet with ranking up. So if somebody is finding this for the first time, so just to, to clarify, because how I understand Monet's compensation plan, um, and for any new viewers, I was never a Monet rep. Um, I was in two MLMs beforehand um, that were perfectly posh and Tupperware, but I did not have nearly the extensive experience that a lot of people have had in MLMs, in Joey included. Um, in Monet, in order for Joey necessarily to maybe rank up to managing market builder, I would need yeah. to maybe rank up to managing market partner. Um, he would need to have a certain amount of people who hit those specific ranks. But what you're saying is in Q science, you just had to have two ambassadors, just like plain old regular ambassadors, right? Now, explain to me though, it does seem like looking at the um, compensation plan that you need that for each rank that the ambassador hits, they do have an increased like company volume. I think it's called OV, right? But it's like, yeah. it's basically, what's the OV stand for? I'm actually gonna see if I can pull it up. I think it's called overall volume. Overall volume. That's, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> okay. But it's, so not over, it's not actually overall volume. So yes, you're a hundred percent right. That like you still need a certain amount of OV in order to move up the ranks. Um, okay. However, your two your two ambassadors that's like who you have directly underneath of you, and then anybody else that you recruit past those two people, you stack underneath of those two people. So, like if you were to recruit four people, then you would have your two underneath of you, and then each of those people would have one person underneath of them, probably, and you would stack those people, and. That's another way where it's like, yes, these th this overall volume is a high number, but you're really not building that all on your own. You're building that with the help of your mentor placing and stacking okay, people so in your doubt mind. So let's like look at this. Okay. So I did a TikTok the other day and I just focused on this block because we've heard some Q science reps say that they only want to focus. And we we hear MLM reps say it all the time. We're only going to focus on sales. We're not going to focus on recruiting. So even if two, three, and four weren't even a part of this, I did some math. I did some quick math. And let's just say that 35%, that's what we're making. And the average, um, the average income for an American is $63,000. The median is 43,000. Uh oh, Joey, did I lose you? No, I'm here. Okay, okay great. Um, the median is 43,000. So I just went with 50,000 just to like make it an easy math problem. So let's just say like that, let's assume that the $50,000 is the average American income, which is like <laughs> laughable. Um, 
So in order to make $50,000 with Q Sciences, just on commission, not trying to recruit, a, an ambassador would have to sell $12,000 of product per month, every single month. And the average of all of the products, because some of the products were like $50, some of the products were like $125. It's funny because Roberta had already done this math for me like last year. So I was like, oh, she's like, what are you working on? I'm like, oh, I'm trying to do this math. She goes, I have it. I know that the average price of Q Science products are. So the average price of a Q Science product is $66.25. So that averages to about 180 items per month. And that's just unrealistic for one person working from home to sell 180 items or $12,000 in product in one month to make $50,000 a year. It's unrealistic. So let's, let's look at block two and let's see if we can, let's just use some, um, maybe I want to, I want to create like a good picture for, for people who are listening, um, for what this looks like. So let's say that you're the builder. Okay. Your rank is builder. You only need to sell. Is this what this means? A hundred dollars of product, right? No, no. no. Okay. So <laughs> okay. So there's three different types of volume with Q's comp plan. You have PV, uh, CV and OV. So your PV is going to be your personal volume. That's only things that you yourself purchase. And that's so in order to even uh, to even qualify as an ambassador, you need a hundred in PV. That's what that Every means all the way up and up. Uh, every single month all the way up until the silver rank that's when you need 200 in pv and 100 in pv is about 250 dollars in product it's not point for dollar so you spend way more on the product to get that 100 in pv and then okay, so when you go when you go up to silver you need 200 which would be about th like 350 dollars in um dollars like money. okay so, all right so let's do this you're trying to recruit me how do you, how do you okay. explain that to me so that I'm like, oh, okay. okay, yeah, that makes sense. So as a Q Sciences ambassador, we need to be using and loving every single product that we sell. So it'll be really, really easy to be able to find a hundred in PV. It's, it's just, you can get the Q core, which is our, which is our pack of baseline multivitamins that every single person needs. And that is a hundred, that's a hundred PV. But so, how much and is you'll need, Oh, it's $175, but you'll need the product. So, <laughs> so and like, you'll, you'll need to take it every day and it's only a 30 day supply. And so you'll need to buy it again next month. And then that, oh. that can just be your 100 PV. Gotcha. How much does it cost? Okay. So like, that was great, Joey. <laughs> how much does it, what's the, <laughs> sign up, what's the sign up cost to join Q Sciences? It's different now. It originally was you bought a hundred in PV and then you paid a fifty dollar ambassador enrollment fee. Now, like, and you could you could buy a hundred PV wherever you wanted. There was no product packs like there are with Mon Eight. But um, th like I said, like that hundred in PV, it, you can build it out a lot of different ways. It's one hundred and seventy five to two hundred and fifty dollars. And if you're not smart about your first purchase, you can spend like $300 on that initial order. Um, now it's different where like they offer all of their ambassadors this insane premier services where you get like um, a fitness app, you get uh, access to rank advancement notifications. It's like this crazy package and it costs even more at, at like, like the baseline in addition to the 100 pv that you have to order it's probably more like 400 dollars now in addition okay all right so so let's just say so to to put it in in terms of trying to to get into the head of somebody who is considering joining if they have been given samples and they they believe that there's vitamins. Q science reps. I'm sorry. Q science reps also very strongly don't believe in um, samples because everything on the website is so affordable. So there's not actually like um, uh, manufactured samples of any of the Q sciences products. I saw that they did like limited edition collagen samples last month, but that's the only time I've see seen them release samples. Otherwise the ambassador has to order like a whole pack pack of product and make the sample 
themselves out of their own inventory that they were supposed to be using for themselves that is still qualified as PV and PV doesn't go anywhere to your ranks. PV is just PV. So if an ambassador spends 300 PV in a month, a hundred of that qualifies them as an ambassador and then the other 200 just goes to their upline they get nothing more from that except the fact that they spent however much money on their orders so when you say it goes to their upline does that go to like the qualified ov or no it doesn't go no it doesn't go any it, it just like, like that's your pv and then your pv counts towards your uplines ov Right. Okay. Right. That's what I meant. So it counts towards my okay. upline, yeah, yeah, yeah. not my, but not my OV. But not mine. Not my rank advancement. Just my uplines. That okay. And that's anybody crazy. that my upline has stacked above me. So anybody that I might not know that stacks. I feel like I need to like make a graphic while we're talking. Okay. So, and here. Okay. So you can't get samples. So how do you get people to try the product? Do you just get them to buy it? And then because you're doing commission and then you're like, Hey, you should join. Is that basically how it yeah. is? Yeah. So usually the opportunity calls are for both people who are interested in the business and just in the product. And they do a thing where like, if you, if you want to just try the product, you should just try it. And then like a lot of people try to get a hundred in PV that they want to order as a customer before they become an ambassador so that it mm. makes more sense. Um, but, but, but yeah. and I, and I recognize that tactic because that's kind of how I ended up joining perfectly posh because I, you know, what I was buying was about the same amount of stuff that was going to be in the starter kit. And so they were like, you should just be, you know, should just become a consultant. And I was like, all right. So Precisely. I guess I understand how that happens. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm spending a hundred PV, but a lot more money. And then and let's that's say- just the that's just the very first thing that you need in order to unlock uh, section two of the compensation plan. The next thing that you need is two PAs, which are personal ambassadors. So you need two right. people who have personally enrolled using your link. And those two people need 100 in PV. Now, is my 100 PV also contributing to my 300 qualified OV? Nope, it's separate. The 300 qualified OV has to come from the people underneath of you. Oh, see, I was seeing that. So the only way I was seeing this as realistic in my mind was I was thinking, okay, me and my two people, that equals 100 each month, 300 OV. But that's, you're saying that's not accurate. It's more like they need to each have no. 150. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Now, what is this max percentage from each leg? 60%. What is that? What does Precisely. That mean? So that means that of your 300, so like, Basically, one ambassador can't have 200 and the other ambassador have 100 because that would be more than 60% coming from one leg. So the maximum that one leg can contribute for that 300 is 180 in OV. And, and then the other person has to have 120. So if leg one had 190 and leg two had 110 and you're still, you still have 300 OV, you do not hit the rank of builder because your legs oh. are imbalanced. Oh my God. <laughs> that is, is so much more fun to explain right now. I'm having that is, way more that's fun. Like, that's fucking insane. What, yeah. I, I think that's like what drags, like makes me the most mad about MLMs is that like, these people say them like, how do we make the most convoluted payment plan? Like a conversation <laughs> plan should be like, I will pay you X amount of money for X amount of work and you will receive a paycheck on this time. Not, well, you have to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and shimmy and then sell your soul and your firstborn baby and run the leg and then- And the like, jazz hands and then, and then you get your paycheck. And then, <laughs> God, I have a, okay, all right. <laughs> So then, and so that's what that's what that max OV from each leg it, it like gives you the number um, so that you can see it easily. But that's what so it's one hundred and eighty would be sixty percent of three hundred that you could pull so, from the one leg. Okay, so then what you're what we're assuming? So let's like look at all right. Let's just look at silver because that's where PV pops up to two hundred. But it's always only ever what's PA stand for? Personal ambassador. Ambassador. Okay. Yeah. So you only but ever also need to... funny. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, so when you get to silver, 
if you look at the silver numbers, you see that you need 25,000 in OV, but right. that one leg can only contribute 10,000. So how, if you only have two legs, are you able to get 25,000? Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. You right. don't actually because only need two legs for silver. You need three legs. To, starting at silver right. even though it only says pa being two but that's because your third leg can be started by somebody who's stacked in your downline by your upline okay so let's let's have you ever seen gym boards we're gonna make a gym board we're gonna all right. this is a, <laughs> we're gonna do a picture we're gonna have some fun all right all right so let's let me just get my my screens here all right so uh is this my pen here my pen all right so you've got your builder Here's, here's your builder. Here's like a nice little B. All right. They need to have, well, actually, no, I take that back. I don't want it to just be builder. I'm just going to put like me. Okay. This is me, me. I was recruited and I'm, so now I, now I'm just a, an ambassador. So let's say I recruit you, Joey, and just for shits and giggles, we're going to say I recruit Jenny. So now I've got two people below me. I should have started this in the middle, shouldn't I have? <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'll, I'll edit it all out. I'll edit it. We'll make it, we'll make it look really good. All right, here's totally. me. We'll do Mal. Here's Mal. I recruit Joey and Jenny. Jenny's gonna be like, why me? Why did you put me in here? Okay, so in order for me to hit Builder, I have to pay $100 or just reach 100 in PV which yeah, actually equals like, like $200, right? Like around yeah, that. we can call it that. All right. All right. You also have to hit 100 PV. Yes. And Jenny also has 100 PV, but I need 300 from both of you. Right. So you need to at least have, have basically 150. But no or, more than 180. Right. No more than 180. Okay. So now let's say that I'm at silver though, and I only need to have now 200. People are going to be like, what is this? What are we watching? Okay. I only need 200 people, <laughs> but it's silver. I need $25,000 in my OV. So that means that you obviously have two people here and Jenny has two people here so that you guys would both be builders. Right. And so then this person needs two people and this person needs two people and this person and Jenny. Oh, but then they need, and the, oh wait, what is this starting to look like? Because I yeah, only it's, have- it's getting a little different. bit triangly. I just, I don't, okay. <laughs> because then, so how many, one, two, so let's just say, and I can only have, okay, it's silver. I can only have 10,000 from each leg, which obviously would not be just from two people because right. That. Okay. So. <laughs> but you need 25,000. And so I can have 10,000 and Jenny can have 10,000, but then you need another leg to be carrying at least 5,000. 5, right. Yeah. So realistically speaking, if I only need to have $200 on my own personal volume, and so does the CV even count towards this OV? No, CV is completely separate. That's the, so the number of... even, So it doesn't even count. Okay. No, then that's for retail and preferred customers are, are, are qualified as CV. So if any of these people recruit a customer, doesn't count. <clears throat> Wait, no, no, no. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. It does count to the upline but not to that person. So the person who recruits the customer gets the CV, but then their upline gets it as the OV because it's that person's, it's that person's contributing volume. So their PV, their CV, and their OV all go towards. So like, let's say that I, I recruited 10 customers. You uh -huh. would get my 10 customers in volume as OV, but I would only get it as CV. So I might be sitting at like the rank of builder and and you're at so over. okay okay so if you get everybody in your family to buy five thousand dollars in product for you you get the percentage of the commission 
But yep. that five thousand dollars goes to my OV. Yep. <laughs> yep. Exactly. And so imagine how amazing oh all of the uplines felt when they released this new affiliate marketing program where people could achieve rank space just off of their customer volume, because now they've got a bunch of people who are going after customer volume. And so they're getting more overall volume. They never have to recruit a preferred customer. Their downline is doing it for them, trying to achieve these ranks. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Okay. So then do I even want to ask about three and four because what does well like, i think i think that it i think that it's important to talk about because yeah well um, i mean yes, we should obviously talk about it but like so it's fucked i'm sorry i know that you don't prefer <laughs> language um okay so three is the pro promotional rank bonuses the only ones that are cut and dry are the bonuses for builder pro and executive but okay, you so have to. What's lined up here is with builder. Like this means builder, pro, and executive. Yes. That's lined. Okay, yeah. so they're all lined up with their. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, but their compensation plan says must must reach rank during first thirty days. That's inaccurate. It's your enrollment month plus the thirty days after that. So uh, okay. typo on their compensation plan that kind of sets the precursor for all of the rest of the typos. So two now, and why two. So now, you move what, into the. Let me, let me interrupt you yeah, for one second. Yeah, Why yeah, do they yeah, rate yeah. total 500? Like, what is that? I, I don't understand. Because if you hit all. Hit once? Yeah, this is just a one time rank advancement bonus. Okay. So yeah. when you hit those first three ranks, if you do it within your quick start, which is your enrollment month plus your first full month after that, okay. then you get the $500. Gotcha. So I, I got my quick start done because my upline was very influential and stacked a lot of people in my downline. Um, I had a, I don't know, I had about 50 people in my downline and I had recruited maybe 10 of those people. So, um, so does that mean that when somebody signed up with your upline, instead of her putting them, like she just placed them under you because she was recruiting? Right. So, okay. So, okay. So going back to the chart, if I recruit Joey and Jenny, but then I want to grab Michelle I don't need more than two. So I'm just going to put Michelle maybe here. And then that becomes- but you, No, you don't put, yeah, but you put Michelle at the bottom. So then like all of those other people who had been recruited, like they would also benefit off of Michelle. Gotcha. Right. So, okay. So like I was, in my brain, it was like, this wasn't here yet, but okay. I understand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. if you had all of this, I would put Michelle here. Yeah but that's technically my recruit, but I'm like giving it to you because it all ultimately benefits me anyhow. And Michelle would never know as far as Michelle would be able to see like her, her sponsor would be you that showed in the computer, but I would be able to see her in my downline tree because she was, she was stacked underneath of me, but she would never see that I was a part of her upline. So she would have no idea that I'm making paychecks based off of her orders and recruitments. <clears throat> Okay. Wow. All right. So let's go back to the two and two. And if you could so, be like, I'm a five-year-old because what? Oh my God. So two and two. So I didn't understand it at first, but basically you have to hit the rank of elite. So let's say that I hit the rank of elite in June. Okay. I would have to then maintain the rank of elite for July and August and then if I still maintain the rank of elite in September, then I would get the first half of my $1,500 bonus, which is 750. And then if I maintain my rank of elite again in October, um, and then if I maintain the rank again in October, then I would receive that other $750. So now let's... Okay, sorry. Just so I can, before you move on. So you would have to, if you hit it in June... Then you have to stay through July, August, September, October. So that's actually five months that you have to stay as elite. Okay, so... And if you lose the rank once in that entire time period, if you hit the rank of elite in June, and then you lose the rank once in, in the next four months, that entire $1,500 bonus is gone. 
I, okay. Unless like unless you receive a, like the first seven hundred and fifty dollars, so you maintain in September, and then you get that first seven fifty, but then you don't maintain in October, that other seven fifty is gone, and you never see it again. <sighs> Okay. Not on the compensation plan. And it says two and two. So really you should only have to maintain for four months when in reality you have to maintain for five. Right. Which is, which as we know in network marketing is close to impossible to maintain your rank for that amount of time. Right. Because it just doesn't happen with the way that recruitments happen. Right. Okay. So what happens if I'm a baller and I hit elite in June, but then in July, um, bronze, and August, I'm silver. What happens? You, so you start, you start the same progression for each of those ranks when you hit them. So it's like really and then hard if you, to get to And that's level. why, yeah, it's very difficult. And I actually, so I hit elite and then I actually was able to maintain, but I only maintained exactly five months. And I'll tell you what, the last two months, the only reason I got my bonus is because I put in orders with my own money because I was like, I am not losing out on this. Like this is way yeah. too much money. And like, I knew that if I spent $300 of my own money that I would get 750 back. And so I'm like, this is going to wash out and I still make money, but that's the only reason I hit them. I didn't actually do it on my own sales or commissions. Right. Because then you really only made a $450 bonus. Because, exactly. Right. Okay, so then I guess then it applies here for this means three months, but would it actually be seven months or is it eight months? Like three, it's, three so is it six, seven, eight months? You know I think I mean? it's I think it's seven because I think you have to hit it the one month and then you have three, three months. Three. And then, so then yeah. this would be nine months. You have to be one of these ranks. And then this would be 11 months, just basically a whole year that you have to hit this rank to get a $500,000 check. Yep. But and if you miss it a single it month, it's gone. Unbelievable. And then what is this? The financial freedom movement monthly bonus? Okay. So I don't know if you remember when we first started communicating, but I was waiting for money um, and I needed my money before I was willing to like tell Q Sciences that I was quitting. Okay. It was my financial freedom movement money. So it, it says here that when you hit elite, you get a hundred dollars. So that should count for that first month, right? No, it doesn't because that's just the month that you first qualify. So consider June a wash. As long as you hit elite though in the following months, then you do get the hundred dollars, but you have to fill out a super specific form. And it's a, it's a printout form that you have to print out and fill out as if we're like back in the dark ages instead of just a fill outable pdf you know what i mean like yeah like have it, they not it, heard of docusign yeah literally and i'm sorry i did a docusign when i became an ambassador like that was how i signed the paperwork so excuse me like i know you guys have the technology so like anyways so like I didn't fill out the form. And then I was like, surely they'll still give me my money. Like, and they'll just process it in a different way. Oh no. If you don't fill out the form. And then apparently if you don't fill out the form by the deadline, the money's gone and you have to fill out. And then like, you get another opportunity if you ask them, but it, like, it's not supposed to happen. So I had to fight tooth and nail in order to get the $400 that I earned in the five months that I hit elite. And they literally were like, we're going to make an exception, even though oh. you didn't fill out your paperwork. So you hit, because elite. you hit elite for how many months? Five in a row. So then you were, so it was a hundred dollars for each month that you were elite. Yeah. But oh, not the I first see. month. So 400. Gotcha. Okay. I understand. And then I was like, I don't have access to a printer. And they're like, well, surely there's one at your job. And I was like, you want me to use my nine to five job that pays me really good money to print something for my steamy MLM. Like this is my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. A hundred percent. And I did, I actually did use my work printer to print it and send it back to them, but it took them weeks to send it to me. And they had all these weird deadlines. And I'm like, if my deadline is the 10th, then why do I have to wait until the following month to get my FFM money? And they're like, Oh, because of this and this and this. And I'm like, I'm sorry you guys just got on a corporate call that said that you were breaking a bunch of numbers and like just sales records and stuff. So why are you having trouble paying me out 400 bucks? Okay, I just so, don't understand. So then 
let's say that you're recruiting me and I say to you, I only, I don't want to recruit. I have no interest in recruiting. I think recruiting is really skeevy and gross and it makes me uncomfortable and I don't want to do it. I just really care about the product. I just want to sell the product. Explain to me, not selling to me, but explain to me how that just doesn't work out because I think I know the answer, but how is it that, that just doesn't work out? If you're, let's say an elite or whatever, and I join, but you're, rec- you are maybe still recruiting. So if you recruit more people after me, where are you going to put them? Yeah. Um, and that's where a lot of my struggles as an upline lied were the fact that like, I would have someone who wasn't working the business and then I would have someone else who like, joined and I would have to stack them underneath of that person that wasn't working the business. And then like, I felt bad about knowing that that person wasn't working the business and that they were going to contribute to their volume. Right. Um, So so what I'm saying is like, if I want to sell and maybe I'm, maybe I'm killing it. Maybe I'm selling $5,000 in, in product a month and I'm not even trying to recruit though. I am going to have a downline though, because you're probably going to put people underneath me. Right. Is that what happens? Yeah, exactly. So you can't even avoid, even if you're not trying to have a downline, you're going to have a downline. You might not. More than likely. Yeah, more than likely. However, you can't use anything from that downline unless you have your two personally enrolled, personally active ambassadors. Mm. Um, And like the personally enrolled ambassadors also have to be active with the 100 PV. So if you don't ever recruit a single person, you could have all of these ambassadors in your downline, but never make a dime off of them because you don't have too active of your own. And that's when a lot of the people in the uplines will tell you, oh, well, just find two people who want to work the business with you because you have all of this volume in your downline because I stacked this person underneath of you. And so if you recruited two people, you would automatically, let's, for example, hit the rank of builder. And I sent that message multiple times. I'm like, hey, if you recruited two people this month, you would be at builder and you'd make 50 bucks extra. Like that's definitely worth it to find to people no it's not um another side note there is a new er comp plan that has um i mean this is what's on their website right now so so type so in the google just type q sciences comp plan 2022 And then it's that green one there on the left. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at this new Q Sciences website, which was not the one that you were just on. What the hell? No, but like, where is that? Where's that image? Yeah, where is it? You have to scroll forever. Where did it go? It's not. Okay, hold on. PC point system. What's this? No clue. Ambassadors will collect 10% rewards points on the PV of their subscription order. Yikes. Oh, self-care. So we're so concerned. Where, where is that graphic that I just clicked on? Way to not make, oh, here it is. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. This went down. This This went down from 35% to 30%. Yeah. That's because they have the new, Oh, this is so much harder to read. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much more convoluted can it get? Okay. So- well, they took out, they took out the percentage on this part. Okay. Cause this is CV rank. So is this commission? No, this is. So was, was the CV somebody, <laughs> um, that's customer volume. So somebody recently who used to work money and is now working Q sciences has stated that they're probably going to only be doing um, like the commissions aspect of everything and the affiliate marketing. This is another aspect of that. So um, they basically um, at my nations, Monet did something similar where they took like their up to market builder rank. I think they made into like uh, a customer volume rank as well. So now the commissions percentages are lower for the sales commissions but if you hit, let's, so maybe you recruit, uh, you have 300 in customer volume, uh-huh. then that puts you at the rank of builder for customer volume. 
and then you get that fifty dollars at okay. that rank. All I'm saying though is when we really look at these side by side, they literally just broke two into two and four. Like these are the yes. same. These are the same. This is the same thing. Except is it okay? Hold on, because then the qualified OV is here. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is saying if you just do the commission, I see. But then still with that same, with that same idea, you would still have to, if you, so I had somebody who made it to the 500 to a thousand bracket. And so they were at that 15% of commissions. Okay. And then they were also at the rank of, or I'm sorry, they were at the 1000 to 1099. Um, mm. And so it was at, 20% and they were at the rank of executive, which is $250, but they still like, that was still about the same amount as it would have been with just the old compensation plans, commissionable volume, because that's at 25%. Well, and this is what this looks like too. This is what, why this is confusing. Cause it says commission, not like bonus, because if I have my personal volume, which is a hundred and I'm not making any money off of that, whatever, that's just what I have to pay. So then my commission volume, I have to make $300 to get $50, but then I'm also getting 10 per, you know, what 50, no, 10% of that. So I'm making $70 total. Exactly. Which... So, then, so it's like 10% up to 500. So then, yeah, like this is just not bad. Like it's not really better. It's not. No, it's not at all. It's just I, I did want to note that there was a new comp plan and like Okay. It it, it I but I don't know. It's still your numbers still are exactly accurate because it would take way more than it would take if you were building a team in order to make to make good money. Like you would really need to be at the rank of like silver or gold in the C V pool because, in order to be making Because when you look money. at these numbers, if you <laughs> It's not to say I'm at silver and I need to sell $25,000 in product just myself. And that's 25,000 in volume, which it's not point for point for dollar. And so that's really like $35,000 right. in product. So let's just even say that it was, let's just say it was point for dollar. Okay. Okay. That's <clears throat> so that's $7,500. So that's where you would start like 30% of 25,000 is 7,500. Then you would get an extra four thousand, I guess. So you would make. I mean, that that is decent money per month, but like, who's gonna sell twenty five thousand? Yeah. Who's gonna sell ten thousand dollars in product? Like hundred percent every single month. Like you might get lucky and do it one month, but that's that's at, like that's crazy. So then, when you realize how hard it is to do that all on your own, then that's when you come over here. Right. Well, yeah. And then also like your upline is totally winning because while you're down there building the 10,000 in volume, they're getting that in overall volume, which could be as much as right. so like 10,000 per leg. Right. So theoretically, if I'm a bronze and I'm selling $10,000 all on my own and I'm killing it and I'm selling this, this, this CBD stuff that you can get elsewhere for probably cheaper. If I'm selling $10,000 of this, that CV and let's say that my, you know, my upline is a Ruby, that 10,000 is going to their 200,000 OV, isn't it? Yep. Yep. So it doesn't matter if you just want to sell the product, you are still contributing to the pyramid scheme. Yep. Yep. The no pyramid, way. everybody, everybody up here is winning way more. There's no way around it. Down here. There's no yeah. way to avoid it. You can say all day, I'm not going to recruit. I'm not going to recruit. I'm only going to sell the product. But selling the product is still contributing to the pyramid scheme because your sales are contributing to your uplines OV, which contributes to their, uh, the, the, yeah, that's, look at this, pay off debt, learn how to invest. Okay. So do you think, I was going to ask you this question earlier and then we kind of got off topic. Do you think that it is because of this only needing two people? technically and the way it can stack that that's why so many people from Monet go over to Q sciences. 
Yes, it, and it's the stacking. So stacking is so frowned upon in Mon 8, but so many people do it anyways, that yeah. when they hear that stacking is not only allowed, but it's encouraged with Q sciences, they're like, they're like oh my God, that's perfect. That's all I've been wanting this whole time. And so then, and like when I watched that mass exodus and like part of the reason that I left Q sciences was because I was watching all of these nasty people come over to an already nasty existing thing that was going on. Right. And I'm like, okay, this is just going to get even worse. And it, it like I, I wasn't surprised that it was Mon eight people in, in the large majority that were coming over here. <clears throat> that is absolutely insane. Um, I I really appreciate you taking the time <laughs> to to break this down for me because there's a lot of other people's channels that have done a breakdown, but I think it really helps when a previous ambassador takes the time and and breaks it down for us because this really i mean let's just go back to the pyramid shall we <laughs> let's yeah just, let's just look at that so i have to let jenny know that i've recruited her into q sciences um and i mean i was like one of those people that was like on the opportunity calls like like preaching this compensation plan and i was yeah. telling uh danielle on the podcast the other night i was just like it is so easy to hear someone who's like confidently explaining this, like kind of like how I joked at the beginning about how I would talk to you about buying your hundred and PB. Like that's how I would have pitched it to you. And when you yeah. have someone confidently saying something like that, it's like, it's just so easy to be like, Oh my God. Yeah. That makes sense. Like he really seems to know what he's talking about. And I did, but it's because I was brainwashed. Right. Absolutely. All right. So Joey, as always, you know, I love having on my channel. Tell me what your new account is because you just joined the anti-MLM movement officially. Yes, it is MLM underscore T underscore time. All right. MLM T time. Let me add that right there. Let's tick it. There we go. Oh, I should put at MLM T time. Hold on, let me edit it. Um, at MLM T time. I should have had that up the whole time at MLM T time. Joey, this is always, I love having on my channel. We should actually just like really hang out in real. Well, what I mean, <laughs> what I mean by that is like, you can hop on a stream here and just hang out with me. Like what like yeah. I do with Michelle and Danielle. <laughs> yeah. 100%. We should hang out in real life, in, in real fake life on the internet. Um, but thank you so much for helping educate us on why Q science is just another pyramid scheme. And almost more pyramid-y than some of the ones that we've seen in the past, like just honestly, a very blatant pyramid. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's just straight up a pyramid scheme. Yeah. All right, Joey, thank you so much. And I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.